What's going on everyone? So for a while now I've been debating on doing a game room tour. Now unlike some other game room tours you might see on YouTube, mine's not going to be as impressive. As you'll see I don't have a whole lot of room to work with and I got plenty more games and consoles stashed away in closets. But really I'm more so doing this for myself. Because recently I came across a photo from about four years ago when I first started collecting of the shelf that had all my games on it and wow has my collection grown. So I think it'll be fun four or five years from now to look back at this video and see how much has changed. But it also got me thinking, wouldn't it be cool if my past self from four years ago could be here today? Oh my god! It's my past self from four years ago! Whoa! Where am I? Did I really talk like that? Is this my room? Yep, this is our room in the year 2019. No way! What happened to my hair? Let me guess. We sold it to buy more video games. Yeah, let's go with that. This is crazy! I bet I'm a huge YouTube star, right? Well, not to brag, but we do have four times the subscribers we had four years ago. No way! Four times 20 is... Anyway, we don't have time for math. You want to take the tour? Hell yeah! Let's start off at the games. Here we are. Up here we got a few boxed NES games, nothing too exciting. Oh man, Ghostbusters 2, I remember playing this as a kid. This game pissed me off. For real. Next up we got some boxed Super Nintendo games. Super Punch-Out, man, I had a blast with this game. Could never beat it though, that damn old guy with the cane. Give it time, my friend. Next up we got some boxed N64 games. Dude, Mario Kart 64, Super Mario 64, those are some great memories right there. And, oh man, you got a complete box copy of Conker's Bad Fur Day? Yeah, I feel like I want to warn you about a Christmas gift you'll eventually get from the wife. What gift? Nah, I don't think I should tell you because you probably wouldn't have that if it wasn't for that gift, so let's move on. So up here we got some boxed Master System games, nothing too exciting. But down here we got some boxed Genesis games. Oh, so many classics. Aladdin, Castle of Illusion, Ghostbusters, the Sonic games, Streets of Rage 2, Wonder Boy. Man, it's like my entire childhood right there. And then we got a couple of 32X games in the box, but nobody really cares about those. And then we got some loose NES games, and by some I mean some of the good ones because I got plenty more stashed away somewhere. Ah, oh, Commando, I could never make it far in that. Dr. Mario, Mom used to play that game all the time. Duck Hunt, Kirby's Adventure. Wait, you got all the Mega Mans on the NES? I thought we hated those games. No, nah, we didn't really hate them, we just sucked at them, but now I'm addicted to them. Well, speaking of addicted, Punch-Out? Man, that game was impossible. Of course, you gotta have the Mario games, Ninja Turtles, that's another game that pissed me off. Man, so many great memories. So moving on, we got some loose Super Nintendo games, nothing overly exciting. Man, no matter how much of a Sega fan we were, those Donkey Kong Country games were the bomb. I see some more Mega Mans, and Super Mario World. And then after that, of course, the N64. Aw oh, man, those wrestling games bring back some memories. So many late nights playing No Mercy. Oh yeah, they're still fun to this day. Thankfully I got these awesome end labels for the N64 because after that you got the super exciting Loose Master System games. Yeah, sadly without pulling those games out I have no idea what I have. So let's move on to the Sega Genesis. Ah, oh, this is what I'm talking about. Booger Man, Chuck Rock 2, Decap Attack, Earthworm Jim, Golden Axe, Jurassic Park, Kid Chameleon, Mortal Kombat, Quackshot, Road Rash, Sunset Riders, Toe Jam and Earl. Some of my favorite games of all time. Yep, next up we got Sega CD. How many of those games are actually any good? I don't know, three maybe? Let's move on. Next up we got the Sega Saturn, most of which are the same games from our childhood. I thought we had more than that. We do, they're right here. I've been trying to get these complete in box, but it's been a struggle. Here's a couple of Japanese Sega Saturn imports. I actually have more, but those are the only two playable ones. Next up is my impressive Dreamcast collection. Then we have the PlayStation 1. Oh man, Abe's Odyssey, Abe's Exodus, such awesome games. Ooh, is that the same Silent Hill we bought years ago? Yeah, sadly that's the only Silent Hill game I kept before I started collecting. Down here we got some randomness, we got some ColecoVision games, some Atari 2600 games. I got plenty more of those stashed away as well. Over here we got some Famicom games, some Super Famicom games, some boxed Intellivision games, a couple of loose Intellivision games, and of course the Silent Hill Play novel on the Japanese Game Boy Advance. Whoa, I didn't know that existed! And here we got the Game Boy Player Disc and some super exciting 3DO games, including the unnecessarily large Road Rash game. And then we got my only Japanese PlayStation import, which of course is a Mega Man game. 
And here we got some interesting Dragon's Lair DVD games. Yes, I said that right, DVD games. And then last up, we got my Turbo Graphics and my PC Engine games. This is so cool. All right, let's move on to the consoles. So first up, we have the Master System. I remember seeing the name a couple of times, but I didn't really look into it till I started collecting. Is it cool? It's pretty cool. I mean, the controller does suck, but thankfully you can use a Genesis controller. But it just doesn't have as many classic games like the NES had, so... I mean, aside from that, it's a pretty cool system. Then, of course, there's the mighty Sega Genesis, Sega CD, and 32X combo. Ah, the 32X, another console I wasn't aware of. Yeah, I've actually considered getting a complete collection of X, since there's, you know, only like 30 games for it. Next up, we have the most precious console in my collection, the same Sega Saturn that we had when we were kids. Ah, uh, we had some good times with that. It's too bad that's the only thing left from our childhood, though. Yeah, and then of course there's the Dreamcast. It's surprising considering how much of a Sega fan we were, we never asked for a Dreamcast. Yeah, it's weird. I knew it existed, but I just never really had a desire to get it. Then of course there's the PlayStation. Ah, another system we didn't get into. Yeah, over the years though I've discovered some pretty cool games for it, but I still find myself coming back to Oddworld. Yeah, I remember playing the demo for that on our family PC when we were younger. It's such a great game. Next up there's the Taco Bell exclusive PS4. No way, that's awesome! Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite items in my collection. I don't play it though, it's just there to look pretty. And then down here you'll see a stack of relics. I got the Atari 2600, the Intellivision, and the ColecoVision. Oh, you got the Darth Vader model? Yeah, even though I don't have much nostalgia for these pre-NES consoles, I still love collecting them. Speaking of the NES, here we have the original model and the top loader as well. You know, it's crazy, I don't remember the top loader ever being released. I think we were either too young or too focused on the Sega Genesis at that time. Next up, of course, is the Super Nintendo. Oh man, I remember picking up the Model 2 at Walmart for like super cheap. Yeah, other than Donkey Kong Country 3 and Super Punch-Out, I don't think we had any other games for it, but we played it all the time at a friend's house. And of course, next up we have the N64. Oh, and you got the Jungle Green model. Yeah, so many late nights playing Ocarina of Time, Rayman 2, GoldenEye, DK64. Ah, oh, those were the days. Hell, even Mom used to play Mario Kart with us. And then there's the GameCube. You know, as much as I loved the N64, I just wasn't very impressed when this came out. Yeah, it definitely didn't deserve all the hate that it got. I do remember having a good time with it when we finally picked one up for cheap. Oh yeah, wasn't that after you put that laser lens cleaner in your Xbox and completely destroyed it? I'd rather not talk about that. And then it made that terrible grinding noise? You dumbass. That was also you, jackass. Oh yeah. Anyway, I'm working on getting some more games for it in my collection. Next up, of course, is the Wii. Nothing too special to say about that. Up here, though, we got something really cool. The PC Engine Duo R. What is that? That allows me to play TurboGrafx-16 games, Turbo CD games, PC Engine, and PC Engine CD games. Nice. Yep. And then there's the 3DO. Why? Because I have a serious problem. Moving on, we have probably my favorite item in my collection, the Japanese Toys R Us exclusive Sega Saturn. Oh, that's awesome! What makes it different than a regular Japanese Sega Saturn? Uh, the Sonic on the lid. And the price. We definitely have a problem, don't we? Yeah. Anyway, we also have the PS3, the PS2, and the Modern Warfare 3 Xbox 360. Oh man, that damn red ring of death. Yeah, that's why I tend to buy every single one I come across at yard sales if they're cheap. Because you never know. Makes sense. And down at the bottom there, we also have a Famicom. So last up, we got the miscellaneous section. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the Commodore 64. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, but it's still pretty cool to have. Over here, we got Holy Diver. Holy Diver! Please don't do that. I'm happy to say I had the original Famicom version and the Holy Diver. Holy Diver! Sorry. Collector's Edition that was recently released. Over here, we got this really cool Batman Arkham Asylum Collector's Edition, which comes with this super awesome Batarang and a bunch of other cool stuff. And here we have the Sonic Mania cartridge, which, if I can get it open, has this really cool ring on the inside of it. And then next to that, we have this Sonic the Hedgehog NES hack, which is just awful. And then, of course, since I'm a huge Silent Hill 2 fan, you gotta have Pyramid Head. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's from Limited Run Games. It's kind of a promotional collector set for the new Toe Jam and Earl game. And only 500 were made. And over here we got Castlevania Blood Moon, which is a rather difficult hack. I haven't played too much of it, but I really do like the cartridge. And here we got a rather unique cartridge, New Ghostbusters 2, which was never released here in America, and of course is by far better than the one we got. 
And here we have the Japanese version of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Other than that, there's nothing really special about it. I just think it looks cool. But next to that, we have a reproduction of the Master Quest. And here we got DuckTales. Woo! -hoo. Two. Back here, we have Sonic the Hedgehog the Movie on VHS. And behind that, we have the R-Type 3 and Super R-Type Collector's Edition that was recently released. This is crazy! I can't believe how much has changed in four years! Just imagine what the next four or five years might bring. Hey, I have to ask, are we still married to that bit? I need to see that book. Beautiful wife of ours. Well, happy birthday to me.